Auvergne is one of the 27 administrative regions of France. It comprises the four departments of Allier, Fouay de Dôme, Cantal and haute loire The current administrative region of Auvergne is larger than the historical province of Auvergne, and includes provinces and areas that historically were not part of Auvergne. The Auvergne region is composed of the following old provinces, Auvergne departments of Fouay de Dôme, Cantal, northwest of haute loire and extreme south of Allier. The province of Auvergne is entirely contained inside the Auvergne region, Bourbonnais, Department of Allier. A small part of Bourbonnais is also contained inside the Centre region. Balay, Centre and Southeast of Department of Haute Loire. Balay is entirely contained inside the Auvergne region. A small part of Gar Copyright Vaudan, extreme southwest of Haute Loire. Gar Copyright Vaudan is essentially inside the Languedoc Roussillon region. A small part of Vivarais, extreme southeast of Haute Loire. Vivarais is essentially inside the Rene Alps region. A small part of Forres, extreme northeast of Haute Loire. Forres is essentially inside the Rene Alps region. Balay, Gar Copyright Vaudan, and Vivarais are often considered to be sub provinces of the old Languedoc province. Forres is also often considered to be a sub province of Lyonnais province. Therefore, the modern region of Auvergne is composed of the provinces of Auvergne, major part of Bourbonnais, and parts of Languedoc and Lyonnais. The region contains many volcanoes, although the last confirmed eruption was around 6,000 years ago. They began forming some 70,000 years ago, and most have eroded away leaving plugs of unerupted hardened magma that form rounded hilltops known as pies. Geography Auvergne has a surface area of 26,013 km squared equivalent to 4.8% of France's total surface area. Auvergne is one of the smallest regions in France. Auvergne is known for its mountain ranges and dormant volcanoes. Together the Mont d'Or and the core registered trademark Nides Pies include 80 volcanoes. The Fuay de Dami is the tallest volcano in the region with an altitude of 1,465 m. The Sancy Massif in the Mont d'Or is the highest point in Auvergne. The northern region is covered in hills while the southern portion is mountainous and dotted with pastures. The Domanial Forest of Trona Section A's covers nearly 11,000 hectares and is the largest oak forest in Europe. There are two major rivers in Auvergne. The Loire, which runs through the southeast and borders the northeast, and the Allier which runs from north to south down the center of Auvergne with branches going east and west. Over many years the Allia River has created what are known as the Allia Gorges. Auvergne has about 50 freshwater ponds and lakes. Some are high in the mountains and have volcanic origins. Gray Copyright Hawaii Lake is the highest lake in Auvergne. Auvergne is bordered to the east by the Rene Alps region, to the south by the Languedoc, Roussillon and Midi Pyrenees regions, to the north by the Centre and Burgundy regions, and to the west by the Limousin region. Climate the average annual temperature is 12 degrees Celsius, and the region receives 510 a euro 1020 mm of rainfall annually. The region is altogether very dry, and has very long winters paired with short summers. History equals The land of the Arverni equals, the region of Auvergne was named after the Arverni, one of the most powerful Gallic tribes. It was composed of the Gabali, the Velivai, and the Cargesi whose sphere of influence included the regions of Languedoc and Aquitaine. Bassini Torix was granted the title of king in 52 BC. His father, Seltilos, had been elected as a king before him and he had been killed by his companions because he wanted the title to be hereditary. In the winter of 53-52 BC, Bassini Torix managed to enter into an alliance with all the Celtic tribes surrounding him by holding hostages of the King Euro unregistered trademark S daughters or sons of each tribe, which gave him a guarantee for faithfulness and alliance. Following recent digging of archaeologists, the capital of the Arverni would have been situated between Gurgovi, Corinth, Alnet, and several other significant areas within 35 kilometers. This gives us an estimation of a population of 150,000 inhabitants living in the center and a total of more than 400,000 inhabitants living in the whole territory. The Arverni were one of the most powerful and rich tribes in the Antic Gaul because of a mountainous area, 
which protected it from any kind of attack, out of reach of the different invaders, the many mines of gold, silver and precious metals, the pastures on the uplands in which lords left many herds, mastery of metalworking construction and complex craftwork. Vicinutorix is described with a euro or a big armor made of many assembled silver pieces, reflecting the sun, and in particular copperwork, the minting of their own money, and lots of exchanges with nearby tribes, ceramic manufacturing mastery of ceramics, their influence on nearby tribes, and the rallying of the Adui during the revolt of Vicinutorix. One of the shrines of Aben is the Battle of Gergovia, which would have taken place about 12 kilometers away from Kilimont Ferrand following the non-proven interpretation made of the books of Caesar. Gergovia was the place where Vicinutorix beat Julius Caesar in 52 BC before he started chasing Canisari Euro unregistered trademark S troops. Roman victory in Aelsia in Bourgogne, following the setting of several traps and fortifications over several hundreds of meters by the Roman legionaries, which led to the imprisonment of Vicinutorix in Rome and to the creation of the city of Augustometum probably onto one of the existing Arverni places. Recently, a foot made of stone, measuring 60 centimeters, has been found from a statue of 4, 5 meters high, probably representing a god or Roman emperor. In the 5th century, Sidonius Apollinaris, an Arverni nobleman and first bishop of Clermont Ferrand, gave a testimony about the end of the antiquity of the Arverni. Equals feudal Arverni equals, in the 7th century, there was a dispute between the Franks and the Aquitani about the Oven. Conquered by the Carolingians, it was integrated for a certain time into the Kingdom of Aquitania, except from one part called the County of Orillac which was given to the father of Gar copyright Lord Da Euro unregistered trademark Orillac and which did not depend from the County of Oven, but directly from the King. The Counts of Oven, the Gaelhemides, slowly obtained their independence. In the 10th century, Auvergne was subject to rivalry between the Counts of Poitiers and Toulouse. Under the reign of the Carolingians, the Auvergne included five secondary earldoms with a particular administrative system. During the Middle Age, the earldom of Auvergne covered the current departments of Fuy de Dome, the northern half of Cantal, as well as a small third in the northwest of Haute Loire, with the county of Bod. The other part of Cantal constituted the direct territory of Aurillac Abbey and a part of it was indentured to the Viscounts of Milo, to form the Carlards. The Auvergne had gone through a very strict feudal regime, synonym for a dispersion of the political power. The Bishop of Clermont removed his city from the Countess of Euro unregistered trademark authority, who, as a result, favoured the nearby city of Montferrand. Later, a usurpation of the power of Earl led to the creation, by the legitimate robbed Count, of a Dauphiner copyright da Euro unregistered trademark of N, independent from the L. However the royal power took action in the area rather early. Philippe Auguste linked the biggest part of the county to the royal territory. The royal territory of Aven took Riam as an administrative centre. Staying in the bosom of the Capetian family, the Aven is given as appanage to Alphonse de Poitiers, and then in 1360 as a duchy to Jean I now de Berry, who also bought the area of Carlards. One of his daughters got married to the Duke of Bourbon, who became Duke of Aven. The Dukes of Bourbon acquired the Dauphiné copyright of Aven through marriage, but in the end all their territories got confiscated by François Wonmer. Equals Modern times equals, one century after the Hundred Years a Euro unregistered trademark war, the Aven plunged into religion wars. Some Calvinist militia made incursions in the highland and they took by surprise castles and Catholic villages. Then they gave them back, asking a ransom in return. Captain Merle in particular, firmly established in the nearby Jlavaudan, took a ransom from Isoya but failed in St. Flower. And this is how the city of Orillac had been taken over, and its abbey was completely destroyed. In his time, Philippe Auguste had not been able to fully defeat the area, the Count kept holding on in Vic le Comte. The Queen of France Catherine de Medicis, inherited the last part of the earldom from her mother, which allowed the integration of the last feudal fiefdom, at the heart of Aven, to the royal territory. In 1665, Louis XIV temporarily set up an exceptional criminal court in Clermont Ferrand and Le Fuy en Velay, a Euro Lake Grands Jours d'Euro unregistered trademark Aven, 
in order to comply with the plates of the people, who were victim of violence and abuse of officials and noblemen of Aben. During the 18th century, the economic situation of the farmers got considerably better, thanks to the wise politic of the Aben intendants, who took the reins after the abbeys, and who developed farming, cheese manufacturing, agriculture, glasswork, iron work and roads. During WWII, Vichy was the headquarters of the government of the French state. Demographics Auvergne is an underpopulated area with an aging population. Auvergne is one of the least populated regions in Europe. The main communes in Auvergne are Vichy, Clermont Ferrand, and Montlouis section on. Major communities Aurillac, Camélières, Clermont Ferrand, Corn and Darven, Isoya, La Fuy en Valais, Montlouis section on. Moulins, Alia, Riem, Vichy, Vias, Fuy de Dami. Economy The region is predominantly agricultural, with tourism slowly becoming more important. Cows are much in evidence and are used both for meat and for milk, which is made into a number of well known cheeses, Bleu d'Arven, Cantal, Form d'Ambert, and Saint Nectaire. Despite its small local market, the Auvergne region has developed many national and international companies, such as Michelin. Limay Grain, the Group Centre France La Montagne, Volvic Mineral Water and numerous dynamic SMEs around the two universities and large schools of its capital, Clermont Ferrand. Most of these companies are exporting more than 75% of their production. While agriculture is important, Auvergne is a relatively industrial region as well, as the share of the working population in industry is 22%, versus the national average of 18%. The main industry in Auvergne is the tyre industry, represented by Michelin, with headquarters and history is located in Clermont Ferrand, and Dunlop, based in Montlucon. A diverse range of small industries also exists metallurgical, mechanical, pharmaceutical, food, cheese, mineral, etc. exists in the region, particularly in the Fuy de Dami and the Haute Loire. These include the Vars Cutlery, Metal Isoya, Lace and La Fuy and livestock as well as food in the cantal. The Auvergne is also one of the premier research areas in France with more than 8,000 researchers in the fields of chemistry, tyre, steel, medical and pharmaceutical sciences in agricultural research, in biotechnology, seismology, meteorology, etc. The food industry, with its branches mineral water, dairy products, meat products, forestry, honey, jams and candied fruit, employs over 12,000 people. Popular culture, the 2002 film, To Be and To Have, documents one year in the life of a one-teacher school in rural saint de permilchen sur Rossen, Fuy de Dami, Auvergne. References External links, Auvergne, at the heart of nature, the official website of France, Auvergne Regional Council website, Auvergne at DMOZ, Auvergne web tourist and general information about the Auvergne region and Regordain Info Independent Portal for the Regordain Way or St. Gillis Trail. The Regordain Way starts in Auvergne and Auvergne Tourism.